Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime and I'm asking you weird questions again. And I have such a purpose to this question. And that is that you guys really, 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 really struggle with the concept of distribution in algebra, but I say it makes sense if you realize what it means. So let's take a look. This says, write the expression x plus three eight times. I'm asking you to write the expression x plus three eight times. In other words, I'm asking you to think about eight times x plus three. That's how I would write it in algebra class, but right now I'm just asking you to think about it. Write the expression x plus three eight times. Okay, I'll do that. One way to think about eight times x plus three is to just write x plus three eight times. I'm gonna do that down the side of my paper. One time, two times, three times, there's x plus three, four times, five times, six, seven, and eight. Okay, my math teacher's weird. She asked me to do weird things, but I just did it. I wrote the expression x plus three, eight times. Now let's answer the questions. A, how many x's did you write all together? Well, does it feel like a bit of a dumb question? How many x's did you write all together? Well, let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, eight of them, of course. If I wrote x plus three, eight times, I end up with eight x's. So how many x's did I write? I wrote eight. Uh, if I were going to say that in the language of algebra, instead of writing it out in English, I would say I found eight x's. <laughs> now, let's take a look at B. How many times did you write plus three altogether? Oh, uh, I don't know. Let me count. Let's see. One, there's one plus three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Oh, not surprisingly, if I write x plus three eight times, I end up plusing three eight times. So how many times did I write plus three eight? Weird, Kate, weird. Now let's take a look at six, at C, and this is the real point I needed to get to. If you add three eight times, that's what you just told me, you wrote plus three eight times. If you add three eight times, how much have you added in total? Well, I don't know, let's think about it. So this is three, and then another three would be four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. How much have I added in total? Well, three eight times is three times eight, it's 24. Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.